So one thing I've noticed is that most of the tutorials online are using Shad CN, but they just have like a really basic default theme, which doesn't look the best. It's very like bland, it's just like black and white. And I was doing the same thing with this Strudel cookbook site I was kind of building out. And someone on my live stream pointed out that there's this cool site called tweakcn.com that you can use to basically change the styles and theming of Shad CN and just import the styles directly into your application. So I wanted to demo this. This isn't sponsored or anything. I thought it was a pretty cool site. So clicking on here, it takes you to an editor. And on the editor, you have a bunch of pre-existing built-in themes that you can pick from. So like if you click on this, you'll get a nice preset selection of nice themes. Doom 64 looks pretty cool. This one actually changes the border radius to make it more rounded. I might stick with this one. But once you select one of these presets, you can actually go and change the colors if you want to tweak these colors a little bit. Uh, let's just go ahead and change this to like a, a, a brighter red. How about that? And then they have the ability to customize various themes like the base colors, the accent colors. And the cool thing about this is that like it's very easy to look at a dashboard page and see how these colors would kind of affect. Like if I'm going to change this to a more brighter green, we would see that it kind of updates this, this tag over here. Okay, I won't go through all those colors. But let's go ahead and check out some other things. So for example, typography. If you wanted to change the letter spacing, you can make it look a little bit more retro if you want to put them together or space them out like this. You can change the actual font. Okay, so let's just change it to that. Uh, serif font, I don't think it's going to change anything. Over here in the other tag, there's some more adjustments that you can make. You can like, again, play around with the colors or whatnot. But if you want a more square style to your cards, you can do that or you can kind of round it out a little bit. Obviously at some point, like you'll have to fix the padding of the cards or something, but we can just go ahead and keep it what it was. We got some spacing. So if you want to kind of make it more um, concise or like put more stuff on a screen, you can kind of change the spacing there or you can increase the spacing and then also shadow. So you can change the shadow on various things. Although this one, is it even doing shadow? Let's try to make like a little white shadow here and see if we can make this look good. They also have the ability to ask AI to change your theme for you. So for example, we're going to go to Upwork. I'm going to take a screenshot of this type of view and I'm going to paste it in here. I'm going to say refactor my theme to look more like Upwork or look more like the attached image. Let's see what I can do with this. Okay, so I logged in. It looks like it is generating based on that image. All right, so it looks like I changed my theme. Uh, all right, I whipped up the theme inspired by a clean professional look of the Upwork interface you provided. It features their signature vibrant green for primary actions set against the crisp light background and the typography is handled by Enter. So you can basically take an existing site, paste it into this theme generator and have a nice looking theme that you can just copy and paste into your existing project. And I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. So I'm gonna click on code and here are the styles for how to kind of get this going. So I can just go ahead and copy this whole thing here. And then we're going to go to my project. I think I have a CSS file over here. Yeah, let's just find um, all of this is where my CSS variables are defined. I think I just need to overwrite the root here. I don't know. Hopefully that's good. And then we'll go back to my Strudel cookbook and notice that I have a theme that kind of matches the theming of this. I think the font family is a little bit messed up. Um, it's probably loading in uh, the wrong font and I have to go and find the enter font and load that in. But overall, I mean, that's how easy it is to customize your Shad CN theme. You can give it custom colors. You can give it custom padding and styling. Also, all the code for this project is located here, which um, scrolling down, it looks like, uh, I'm not sure if this is like sponsored by Vercel. I see Vercel incorporated here. So I'm guessing, you know, Vercel kind of sponsors this, which is pretty cool. But yeah, I guess let me know in the comments if there's any other cool tooling around Shad CN or Tanstack Start or the React ecosystem I can make a video on. And uh, maybe I'll check it out and make a video on it. All right, have a good day and happy coding.